Kelly. Damn it, Ashley, watch it! It'll important me and Ellie the coffee stain in my suit. What'd you make for breakfast? It's coming here. Ben, if you don't get up right now, you're gonna be late for school. Oh, forget it. Let's wait until lunch. Ben, there's some cereal in the kitchen if you're hungry. I can't. Gotta go. Well, don't forget your sister. Hurry up! Benjamin Scott Martin. I love my mother, my stepfather, and my little sister Stacy. This place is small, but it serves its purpose. I'm not that popular. Not very many people like me, but I'm not that different from you. And I don't get too involved with things at, at school. For the most part, all I do is go to school and work. And I don't get a chance to hang out with anybody very often. <laughs> and if I do, it's usually only one girl. Maggie. We've been friends for a while, but lately I've been noticing some changes in her. Like the way she looks. I don't know, maybe she cut her hair. Anyways, <coughs> today at school we were talking, and I don't know how we got on the subject of movies, but I told her she should come over and we should grab some. You know, I just realized that this is the first time she's ever even been at my house. So, how are your classes? Geometry sucked. Always does. Lisa fell asleep in Mr. Trump's class today. What'd he do? Oh, we found out. He took one of his huge biology books and set it down on the table right <laughs> next to her head. She sat up so fast her glasses all over her face. <laughs> uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space or American History X? American, American History X. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot the weirdest thing happened to me today. Adam came up to me and asked what I was doing this Saturday. Adam? Adam Baker? Mr. Hay, you're in my seat. Move! Adam Baker. Yeah? Well? Well, what? I told him that I didn't know and that I'd be back here. I didn't know what to say. I mean, I think I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. Wow. Well? Well, what? I don't know. Say something. Anything. What do you want to do? What do you mean? Well, I mean, do you want to say yes or do you want to say no? I don't know. I mean, I want to, but I don't. Well, why don't you? Well, because I kind of... All right, let me ask you this. What's the worst that can happen? Well, nothing, I guess. <coughs> A month. It's been a month since Maggie and I have even talked. I mean, I've seen her at school, between classes, at our lockers, but I turn away to put my books in my locker, and when I turn back, she's gone. I haven't even talked to her since she was last at my house. No, I don't know what happened with her and Adam. I don't know how she's been doing anything. Things haven't been great around here either. But sometimes I wish I could just tell them all to shut up, you know? Just once let a cloud be peaceful, just once. But I don't. I can't. I just hold it in, or at least I try to most of the time. But even these walls can't block all their words. I mean, I still hear. I swear, sometimes it sounds like their words float through the walls, through the air, just to find their way into my ears. And it, it just seems to cover my body up like this big blanket. And, and, my, and my skin just seems to suck it up like a damn clock. But I don't care. I don't care anymore. Just shut up.
I'm not. What's the matter, Lee? Look, Maggie, I want to talk to you. About us. What do you mean, us? <sighs> I've... I... I've always kind of had this crush on you. <laughs> Ever since the seventh grade. But I've always been too much of a coward to tell you about it. No, hold on. Now, I've been practicing this for the last month, and if I don't say it now, then I'm afraid I won't ever say it. Now, it started out as a crush, but the more we hung out and the closer we became, every time I look at you, I get this warmth inside my chest. So I'm burning from the inside out. Every time we talk, I'm overwhelmed with this happiness. All it takes is a word, a smile, or even just a wave. When I'm alone, I hear you whisper to me in the wind. I feel your kiss every time the sun warms my face. And, and, uh, and, and I, I can't really explain where it comes from, but I know it's there, and I know I feel it. <laughs> and what really scares me is I don't think I want it to go away. Ben, I'm dating Adam. Adam? Listen, I care about you so much. You're one of the sweetest guys I've ever met. We just started dating. I'm sorry. When did this happen? A couple of weeks ago. Well, why didn't you tell me? You've been gone for so long. Gone? I've been here. I never left. I didn't go anywhere. I know you've been here. But here, you've been elsewhere. And you've been gone for so long. We just started talking, and things just progressed from there. What was I supposed to do? Wait for when you were ready to talk to me again, and then just pick up where we left off? Ben, it isn't as though we were dating. No, you... I understand. Thanks. Look, I gotta go. You know what the door is. You, you can show ben. yourself now. Ben, wait. such a funny thing. People do things in their lives make others wonder, stand in amazement. You want to know what I did? I called him to work, told him I was sick. I lied. I just didn't feel like going to work. What I wanted to do is find Maggie and talk to her, because I haven't seen her in weeks and I really miss her. But every time I try, her and Adam are always together. But I just feel horrible for the way I reacted, you know? All my life, I felt as though I've been missing something. So I went to church. That is what they say, isn't it? That void you have, that empty place that God has reserved for you in your heart. No one's complete until He comes into your life. Yeah, I went to church. And it lasted for a while. Me, going to church. All these people tell me that God would always be there for me. That they would always be there for me. They wouldn't look down on me for the things I'd done in my past, because that's what my past was. My past. They took me in. Made me feel accepted. You know, for once I felt like I belonged. And I thought it'd last. It was the beginning to escape all the pain. <clears throat> for a while. And it did. For a while. Where have you been? We heard everything that you said to Maggie. That what? was uncalled for. She ran out of here crying. But I need everyone to be yelling in this house again. Is that understood? What are you doing? Sleeping again? It's sleeping? A job. I have a job. Can I talk to you for a second? Where were you last night? This is my house and you will do as I say. As long as it are my roof. Shut up! You've been gone for so long. If you don't Maggie. take a hold of your life, you'll never amount to anything. Not that you want the rate you're going anyway. What are you talking about? This is my house, not yours. Failure. Why don't you leave your alone? You're never going to amount to anything. Why don't you grow up? Do something. Do something with your life. Stop it. Shut up. I'm tired and no more. Always there. Where were you when I cried out to you? Where were you in my times of trial? They said you'd always 
always be there for me to talk to. They said you'd take all my problems and you'd make them better. They said that they would always be there for me. But where were you when I needed you? Where? They said that you would show me your way out. That you were my way out! But now I see. Now I see my way out. Yeah, you said you did the best that you could to raise me. Well, apparently you just didn't do good enough. Shut up! I am tired and no more! myself. 